experiencing directly. The awake aliveness. Bringing a kind attention Bringing attention to the brow and softening there. <clears throat> As if the skin was being smoothed with your invitation to relax. Allowing that kind ease to cascade into the eyes. Inviting a settling there, a softening. Maybe an experiencing of the corners of the eyes is the initial stages of a smile. Inviting a softening of all the <coughs> muscles in the face. If helpful, installing a little smile on the lips. Allowing the attention to move to the neck and shoulders. Inviting the shoulders to relax down and back just a little. Experiencing the aliveness and spaciousness in those areas. <coughs> and exploring with interest the aliveness in the arms volume of space. And the hands. Feeling the hands from the inside out. What 
do you notice? Bringing the gentle attention to the upper portion of the torso once again. Becoming aware of the gentle expansion and relaxation of the rib cage with each breath. attention and appreciation to the interior. The lungs, the heart, protected by the rib cage and serving us dutifully all these years. Experiencing the aliveness and volume of space within the rib cage. Extending to the lower portion of the torso. <coughs> Inviting the belly to soften. It's an area we often armor and hold tight. See if it's possible to soften in the belly. Experiencing directly the lower portion of the torso with gentleness. Exploring the aliveness and inviting a letting go, a letting be in the hips. genitals, buttocks. Gently encouraging all the cells to have ease and release. Extending now attention into the legs. Experiencing from the inside out. The aliveness, the volume of space.
นี่ Bring attention to the soles of the feet. All the nerve endings. Maybe offering some appreciation. All the steps we've taken. And now taking some moments. If there are any areas. Specific to your body that have been wounded, and bring a loving attention there. Not trying to change anything, but as we would with a friend who is hurting, just. Showing up with kindness is often all that's needed. Opening the field of awareness to include sound. <coughs> Simply receiving the sound, not chasing after it. Allowing it to wash through. Sounds like everything else arise and pass in the open field of awareness. Not grasping, pushing away. Resting back, awake, receptive. Just as sounds arise and pass in the open field of awareness, <coughs> so do our body sensations, and so does the particular body sensation of breathing. If you find it 
helpful in gathering the energy of heart and mind to rest attention on the breath. Connect with the breath. And sustain that connection the best that you're able. It's much like a warm embrace. You come up close to the breath. Touch. But the embrace is not too tight, nor is it too loose. Comfortably connected. Using just enough energy to make a connection and to sustain it.
the story. Remember to offer yourself the gift of compassion by fully experiencing the awakening, the presence, the vivid aliveness that is your birthright. Slow it all down. <coughs> Feel that aliveness again, giving your nervous system the chance to know it. It's different than being lost in story or trance. Senses fully open, presence. Awake. And then offer yourself the gift of relaxation once again. Taking some moments, bringing a little TLC to your body. And then when ready, Land again in the breath or the body, wherever you've chosen to rest your attention to build your samadhi.
as we near the end of our practice session, I invite you to fully re-inhabit the body again, experiencing a whole body awareness. The aliveness, the volume of space in the body. And allowing that awareness now to extend to the front of the body into the space in front without efforting, like opening a large window and the awareness extends forward. And now behind, allowing the awareness to circulate behind without effort. And to the right, again, like opening a door or window. Experiencing the space to the right. to the left, and allowing awareness to extend down like removing the floor without effort. And finally above, <coughs> experiencing the awake awareness in all directions. Gently resting in that awareness. Unfixated. Knowing. Responsive open-hearted awareness. Contains all phenomena, but is not made up of them. Awake. Awareness, steady, vast, transparent,
Just a few comments on uh, this morning's instructions. Continue to emphasize the resting in the body, moving out of the coconut, really inhabiting this body as a way of really compassionate action and grounding ourselves. In that moment when we're practicing, when we wake up again from the mind being off, <coughs> if we've been in a story for any length of time, you know, a lot of thoughts, they're just like space junk. They fly through. They don't have any roots whatsoever. But if we've been in a little, a little story, uh, there's some tension that builds up. And to take that pause when we wake up and really notice it, really hang out there, wow, this is, this is awakening. This is presence. My senses are vivid. They're awake again. And that's way different than being in a story. And so when we don't rush back, we're giving our nervous system time to to know this, to sensitize to it. <coughs> and because in any thinking, and those who've been meditating for a while know that any thoughts carry agitation with them. It's very subtle, but it's always there. <coughs> to take those moments and re-relax, kind of, kind of allow ourselves <coughs> a little time of self-compassion and to re-relax because of that tension build, building up. <coughs> Oftentimes people will just kind of, when they wake up from a thought, they just grab themselves and try to plaster themselves back on the breath or whatever their object is. And then the tension piles up and then all of a sudden, oh, I can't do this. I can't meditate for more than 10 minutes. You know? But each time we release, relax, and let go, um, we're, we're beginning again, fresh. Um, and one other thing I want to uh, mention, <coughs> just because it's practice during the day, and those of you that are leaving this weekend, you're still here all morning, in case your mind is already gone. But your bodies are still here, and you've, you've worked hard uh, since you got here on Friday night. And if you're able to maintain some semblance of practice, uh, you may be able to uh, receive some low-hanging fruit from your efforts. So I encourage you to, you know, not beat yourself up in any way, because this is what we do. This is part of our survival thing. Plan, plan, jump ahead. But when you notice that, just gently, oh, I'm still here in this, in this precious time. I just want to say a few words, and tonight I'm going to speak m more deeply about it, about when strong emotions arise. And just quickly, I want to go over an acronym that uh, is very useful. And this acronym basically fleshes out all of the practice in a way. And, and most of you have heard it, RAIN, R-A-I-N. And our, uh, our kind of articulation of it is evolving over time. We kind of add new pieces and feel into it. So the R, uh, that's the obvious recognition. You know, that's where the mindfulness lets us know what's going on. Oh, you know, there's fear here or there's anger sadness, grief, whatever it might be. The A is the allowing or the acceptance of what's happening. You know, these, these, those two are like the ground, recognizing what's happening. If we don't recognize what's happening, well, then we're just reacting, you know, or we're totally identified, lost um, for a period of time. <coughs> so recognize, we allow, we accept what's happening, kind of turning, turning into it a little bit. Um, and
And then we investigate the I with kindness. There's an element of kindness involved in that investigation. It's not an analytical head thing. So then if it's sadness, we move into the body, feel where it's manifesting in the body, you know. And we bring the N, which, which we could look at as a nurturing quality to ourselves as we're working with this. You know, so there's the, the, the juice of compassion and nurturance and kindness as we fully investigate the embodied experience. Now with that, if, if we follow a cycle like that with, with any of the challenging energies that might come up, the result is that we're, we're not lost in it. You know, we're not submerged in it. There's a, there's a kind of spaciousness. And in a sense, we've returned to our kind of natural, perfected awareness in a way. And each time we can follow, follow um, a, 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 an experience like that, feeling it deeply and bringing in a kind of nurturing kindness to it. <coughs> and if we're not grasping or pushing on it, but there completely, we do develop an amazing confidence for, for being able to be with directly what is. And we won't need so much repression or denial to get through this life. So I just wanted to add that piece, R-A-I-N. And uh, I hope you'll find it helpful. Of course, we'll be talking more about it as we, as we go through the week here. But <coughs> for those who still have this half day, uh, you might explore it. So time for a few questions. or answers. <coughs> <coughs> 